to stand up for the week. Here with all the news from Middle England, please welcome Simon Evans. Indeed. Good evening. Uh, delighted to be here with all the news from Middle England. I think probably the main news, the main cause for consternation this week is the newly illustrated version of David Dimbleby. This elder scion of the greatest dynasty of British broadcasting ever, this man who is so respected, has appeared on the, on the front page of various newspapers around the country, revealing himself to be adorned with a tattoo, a scorpion tattoo, on his right Shoulder. No doubt not the most irritating prick he'll have on his shoulder, as long as the BBC continues to book Nigel Farage for question time for some unaccountable reason. <laughs> it's a small, discreet scorpion. It took about an hour, of which most of the time, I imagine, must have been taken up with applying the bulldog clips to stretch the fabric into a workable surface. I mean... <laughs> actually tattooed a 75-year-old man before, but it must be like trying to write on a wet napkin with a biro. It's... <laughs> I want to be clear. I have nothing against tattoos per se. I live in Brighton. Tattoos are very popular. And as far as I'm concerned, anything that gets the kids reading is fine with me. <laughs> Actually, am I against old people having a good time? I have a next-door neighbour, Doris, who is uh, 84 years of age. She's a keen member of the WI. I asked her what the WI do. She said to me, the first rule of WI is you don't talk about WI. <laughs> it's not, in fact. I checked the first rule. is something to do with butter-to-egg ratios, but still. <laughs> she recently agreed to take part in one of their calendar shoots. You're probably familiar by now with the WI calendar shoots. Air ladies of a certain age disrobe themselves. It's all done in good... She showed me her shot. It was very impressive. She's either had a nipple or a belly button pierced. At that age, it's hard to tell for sure, but... <laughs> Something in there was glinting, but... <laughs> the other thing, which has been a chief debating point in Middle England, is the emergence of the, of the Christmas ads. The... Strange, we have a re we really deify Christmas television commercials now, it seems to me. The John Lewis advertisement, in particular, has pretty much replaced the Church of England as the source of all <laughs> moral authority <laughs> in delivering a Christmas message, which makes us feel warm inside. This is its chief purpose now. I don't think they're even trying to sell projects, as is evidenced by the fact that they premiered this advertisement during X Factor. <laughs> on a Saturday night on ITV. Now, I don't know how many of you are familiar with uh, John Lewis's customer base, but let me assure you from personal experience, none of them are watching mixed ability karaoke on the television on a Saturday night. <laughs> they are out. They are out playing bridge or buffing up their Labradors or face down in the au pair or whatever they are. <laughs> they have better things to do with their time. Anyway, I don't know whether you've seen it this year. It's a lovely cartoon. It's called The Bear and the Hare, which to most of you, I imagine, probably sounds like options you're faced with at a waxing salon. But <laughs> on this occasion, the bear and the hare, singular, that would require a very steady hand, wouldn't it? But <laughs> John Lewis people, they would think the waxing... Why do you want to have your vagina weatherproofed? But never mind, they... <laughs> And it's easy to be cynical, but it works for me, I'll be honest with you. John Lewis adverts do give me that warm. It's a lovely formula. You have a sweet story, and over the top, there's a breathily homeopathic version of a well-known pop song. This year, Lily Allen is delivering one of Keane's bedwetting power ballads <laughs> in one of those voices evocative of a child slowly losing consciousness in a ditch somewhere. <laughs> Possibly having been knocked into it by a speeding John Lewis van on its way to make Christmas dead I don't know. It's... It's a, I mean, you don't, it doesn't matter what song you choose. If you sing it in that voice, it could be, I like big butts and I cannot lie. <laughs> and it would sound like a Christmas yuletide lullaby. It's fine. <laughs> the only other ad which comes anywhere near, as far as I'm concerned, for quality is M&S this year. M&S, who've got, ironically, a bit S&M. They have... <laughs> 
Rosie Huntington Whiteley, I believe her name is, a delicious young model dressed as Alice in Wonderland. And just as you've accepted that she's supposed to be a 12 year old girl, there she is suddenly in scarlet bra and knickers for tea, and you're feeling all Christmassy down below. It's a. <laughs> it's not so much an advert as a honey track, frankly. <laughs> A little bit further down the social ladder, you encounter Boots, who have a young hoodie going door-to-door. -door. You immediately assume vandalising or thieving, but no, in fact, he's leaving presents <laughs> for a variety of people. You do wonder to yourself where to get the fucking money from, but never mind. <laughs> We're being asked to challenge our stereotypes for this time of the year, and that's nice. A little bit further down again, we come to TK Maxx. Their ad features a sequence of little faces lighting up as they open their gift and remember wanting this last spring. It's a very moving sight. <laughs> the Church of England have expressed anxiety this Christmas that people will drive themselves deeper than they should into debt, that people will rack up debts they cannot meet in the new year in a desperate hope of providing a perfect Christmas for their family by buying unnecessarily expensive gifts, to which you can only say, well, you fucking started it! <laughs> Gold, frankincense and myrrh! What kind of presents are those for an infant child? What's wrong with a fucking rattle? But no, of course, <laughs> it's all right for the infant Jesus. <laughs> Have a wonderful Christmas if I don't see you before. Thanks very much. Cheers. Take care. For that. Simon Evans. Are you ready for your next act?